I'd like to run through an example here with you. If if I was to open a fish and chip shop and it's already got evacuation signs in place, but I've I've made some renovations, but I'm unaware of my safety obligations, do I need to have those signs if if there was a fire or something in the shop, but I haven't updated my signs, does that mean I'm still let's say liable for because of those signs when I, I, I see I see what you you're trying to say and the answer is yeah if you, if 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 you take over a business um you you're obliged to do it anyway to risk assess uh because you may not be familiar with the risk that that's associated with that church it might be a standalone fish and chip shop it might be a fish and chip shop that's connected to a shopping center um and especially if you're going to modify the inside of the building uh, obviously the evacuation signs structure has changed anyway um, so the expectation is is that uh, don't just leave the ones up that are there you've you, you've got a you've safety is relatively simple when when you come to look at it basically it's look at the risks um, analyze them and put controls in place okay so but some risks aren't obvious you know to, to someone like me um, the requirement for to um, manage bullying and harassment for instance which bridges to legislation now it's workplace health and safety and uh, uh, fair work um, but when i uh, was uh, even your age is um, um, you know it, it was not looked at they, they were still doing a hazing or those initiation ceremonies in businesses you know lifting people up in forklifts and putting grease down their overalls and you know in in, in the lunchrooms uh, you know pornographic um uh pictures all over were plastered uh, all over the um, lunchroom so things have changed thankfully uh, since then um now even though these requirements and this is the hard bit is that how do you find out you know um you know, you, you either got to approach the, the, the regulator, and they've got a lot of tools. There's a lot of good tools on there. It doesn't take much to search, but then you've got to understand them, um, you know, and how do you apply them. And traditionally, that then starts getting expensive or confusing. Now, we were, as you remember, uh, even going down that track prior to Safety Hut, is um, the expectation is, well, here's some tools and stuff, and, and we'll help you uh, a bit. But generally, you're supposed to run it. Um, you're supposed to be involved. And what we found is everybody's still focused on production and supply. Um, so we, we've become the advocate for the, for the company and, and we push uh, to get things done. And, and, uh, but uh, with today's technology, a lot of it can be done just by video. A video walk around to start off with to risk assess and ask questions on, uh, you know, the, the, we're going to use this platform. Um, but because we can record and have a look at the same time and see both people and involved we're also going to use this uh, platform podcasting platform to conduct our toolbox meetings and uh, safety committee meetings and things like that which is another value add that hasn't been done before uh, not not um, consistently as one service as part of a package um, so if uh, we do the toolbox with five people we'll add it uh, to um, to work up, and then everybody will have the opportunity to have seen that um, uh, that toolbox meeting uh, and acknowledge it, um, so you can make it so it's acknowledged as well. So you can see which workers have watched it and which ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I see. Yeah, so um, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes, and uh, uh, it's uh, you know we're up for a big learning process, and where. Um, uh, we had a discussion before this podcast of improving our onboarding and how we're going to go about doing that, um, and then the support. Um, so we'll have our, our team in Thailand uh, dealing with social media and the um, uh, and uh, production and uh, other facets, um, uh, software integration, um, and over here we'll have our uh, support uh, customer support for one of better words that are constantly every month uh, having a look in the um, the software to see what's outstanding uh, we will respond all the time to uh, events happening so if a, a incident report gets reported it'll punch out one of the emails will come to our uh, investigator uh, me at the moment obviously um, 
and then uh, that report will get done. Actions will come out of that report, um, you know, and uh, we will be the driver behind those things. Funny enough, all those actions in, in that module then becomes the risk register. Um, some things will stay there for a long time, but you can produce that very quickly and show people, uh, you know, how you manage uh, your risk. Um, so there's, it, it's, uh, and to try and teach a officer of the PCBU, your director or manager or owner of the business uh, is hard. They're focused on production and supply and the workers are focused on doing their job well, you know, without, uh, in, in addition to uh, life's troubles, you know, the, uh, problems at home, uh, haven't got enough money. Um, you know, there's there's so many life problems uh, going on. Uh, you know, within your personal uh, sphere, without getting into what's happening uh, around the world and other concerns. You know, we've just been through a, a pandemic, uh, which damaged a lot of um, a lot of uh, companies. You know, but the, a fair majority are back on on, on their feet. Um, you know, and uh, you know being a, a tool like this where you can demonstrate uh, your due diligence is um, to me i think is paramount uh, purely because there's so much obligation now it's hard to absorb and all you want to do is make efficient ships or mow the lawn or come out with uh, australia has got so many uh, great companies that have great adventures you know that changed even the world uh, you know in in a lot of cases, you know, as I said. Um, uh, so why not make this side uh, a bit easier? And so uh, up until now, uh, you know, it, it, it takes, um, you know, some risk on, on associated on the pe people that are going to provide that service. Um, and we're prepared to take that risk. We want to stand with, uh, with the companies and look after them, uh, you know, watch them grow. Uh, you know, uh, we want them not to, to be a... Um, you know, uh, you know, a monthly fee is that. Uh, so they'll have their own um, person that they commonly speak to. Uh, they will always have access uh, to our senior management. Um, you know, and uh, you know, and as long as uh, we work together, and and that's you know, codependency, um, we'll be fine. Uh, and if we don't, well, we part company. You know, the only thing that we uh, hold on to is as IP is all the videos. Okay, so they're ours. You haven't had to pay for them. Um, you get the use of them. Uh, uh, they're, they're not they're not that useful outside of the platform unless you're going to go into another one. Um, uh, but uh, you know, it's extraordinarily cost affordable. Um, so why wouldn't you? You know, Bruce, I understand you, you, you're pretty busy. And we're coming up to the hour as well. I wanted to ask you one final question. Um, I, I understand that Safety Hut, we, we create the evacuation signs for businesses. It's, it's included in the service. But on average, what's the, what's, what are most businesses looking at if they're using an, an external company um, just for evacuation signs, just to give people an idea of... Uh, um, it depends on the it. company, really, and what service. But if they're just doing the sign... A general figure would be um, maybe a hundred bucks thereabouts, uh, and I that and, and that may or... yeah for the sign we showed you. Um, yeah, now that may or may not be depending on the complexity. I mean, uh, if it's a new build, um, you can get the AutoCAD file. So all you do is go and turn everything off, uh, drop them into your f format, and away you go. Sometimes you've got to draw up a mud map. That sign I showed you. Um, uh, they, the, the person just hand drew it and then we Googled in and got the rest of the information. So that was done with our, our drafts person. Um, uh, they do all that. Then they bounce it back and forward uh, with the client. You know, the, the client had to ask some questions and because there was a little common area um, that was owned by the other organisation. Um, and we ended up for that particular company, uh, two must areas. Um, uh, purely because uh, if you were going on the primary way out, uh, if the fire was there, the secondary would be blocked. And that was actually brought up by the client, funnily enough, is that we we were going on what was already there. <coughs> I had had a good look. Um, you know, uh, you know, where there's always this process of um, of uh, 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 um, 
<coughs> pardon me, of discovery uh, when we're doing things. So we do a, a, a document review to start off and see what they got. Um, generally, it's a bit of a mishmash of stuff. Um, in that case, uh, a lot of it was associated to um, um, their particular skill base um, and uh, no real consistency to, to things. Um, so we can provide our, our, our generic one, um, which is pretty specific anyway, um, and we adapt that. You know, have you got apprentices? No, you don't. Um, we turn that module off. Um, uh, apprentices and young workers is the module. Um, so, um, yeah, we work with them uh, to get what they need. And, and then we that, that process never stops for the life of them uh, being our client. There's always things that we can do. So uh, how do we make money? Uh, is that uh, we don't in the first instance. You know, we it, it, uh, it, it costs us, I, I would imagine. Um, but uh, long term, certainly we do uh, because things are more, more ducks, uh, you know, the, the ducks are in a row and they're nice and comfortable and look good. The, the company gets used to operating um, and, of course, we make our money from that. So, Thank you for watching. This short video is part of a longer podcast that can be found on the Safety Out YouTube channel, as well as Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you found this information helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Also, if you have any Australian and New Zealand workplace and fire safety related questions that you'd like Bruce to answer on the podcast, then feel free to leave a comment below and we'll answer it in the next week's podcast. For more in-depth information and inquiries, you can also schedule a free call with Bruce directly by visiting safetyhut.com.au.